Welcome students. Today, we dive into the fascinating world of cellular biology, the study of life at its most fundamental level. Let's embark on a journey into the tiny, bustling world of cells. Cells, believe it or not, are the smallest unit of life. Imagine a bustling city, but shrink it down to a size so small, you need a microscope to see it. Just like a city has its own infrastructure, cells have a specific structure too. At the most basic level, all cells are made up of three key components, membrane, cytoplasm, different organelles. The membrane, also known as the cell membrane, is like a security gate. It controls what goes in and out of the cell, keeping necessary materials in, and unwanted substances out. The cytoplasm is the cell's playground, where all the cell's activities occur. The organelles, these are like the different buildings or places in a city, each with its own specific role. Now, let's zoom in a little more and meet two types of cells, eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are like metropolitan cities. They have a well-organized center called the nucleus, which holds the cell's DNA, the genetic blueprint of life. The nucleus is like the city hall, the control center directing all cell activities. On the other hand, prokaryotic cells are like simpler, smaller towns. Instead of a nucleus, their DNA floats freely in the cytoplasm in a circular form. Just imagine a town where all the decisions are made on the go, right in the town square. A special mention goes to our green friends, the plant cells, and some types of prokaryotes. They have an extra layer of protection, a cell wall. It's like an extra security fence around the cell, providing support and maintaining the cell's shape. Lastly, let's talk about an amazing piece of cellular machinery, the flagellum. This whip-like structure acts as a motor, helping both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells move around. Just imagine a tiny, biological propeller pushing the cell through its environment. So there you have it, the intriguing and complex world of cells, condensed into a nutshell. Each cell, whether eukaryotic or prokaryotic, is like a bustling city or town, full of life and activity. Next time you see a plant or pass by a pond, just imagine the millions of microscopic cities working tirelessly within. Stay curious, stay inquisitive, and keep exploring this amazing world of biology.